In this lecture, we will explore how the front end screen with the menu works in Lyra. Go to Content, System, Front end Maps. Open the Lyra front end level. When you look at the front end screen, you can see the main menu and a moving background. This front end screen is also a level Lyra front end which is configured as Lyra Frontend Experience. Go to the window World Settings. You can see that the default gameplay experience is set to Lyra Frontend Experience. Go to Edit Project Settings. Under Maps and Modes, choose Lyra Frontend Level in both Editor Startup Map and Game Default Map. This will enable you to load the front end level each time you open the Unreal Editor. You can change this anytime. When the game is deployed, this will be the first experience to get loaded to display the main menu screen. The level has a blueprint load random lobby background. It loads a random game level as a background to the main menu. This is done using the Lyra lobby background data asset. The shooter game lobby BG is the data asset of type Lyra lobby background which loads the background level in the Lyra front-end screen. Shooter Game Lobby BG is configured in the Shooter Maps Game Feature Data. Go to Shooter Maps Content. Open the Shooter Maps Game Feature Data. You can see Lyra Lobby Background configured here. Under Directories, Items Backgrounds is configured. Under Items Background, Shooter Game Lobby BG of type Lyra Lobby Background is available. Open it. You can see the level Shooter Front End Background is configured here. The Asset Manager dynamically loads all the data assets of type Lyra Lobby Background in the configured folder. Shooter Game Lobby BG has the Shooter Front End Background level configured in it. Let's open the level. The level has a level sequencer lobby screen. It has two moving cameras from both the ends of the building for the two teams. This brings the cinematic moving sequence in the front end screen. You can right click edit the sequencer lobby screen and you can see there are two cine camera actors available. Now let us use this approach to show our jungle scene as background to the front end screen. In the Shooter Maps Content Maps folder, duplicate the Jungle Map and rename it to Jungle Map Background. Open it. Go to Windows World Settings. Choose None for Game Mode Override and Default Gameplay Experience. Save it. From the Level Sequence folder, drag and drop Sequence Lobby Screen into the Viewport. Edit Sequence Lobby Screen. For the sake of simplicity, delete the Cine Camera Actor B and also the section referencing the same. Adjust the close end of the sequencer.
Under camera component, transform location Z, first click to the front button and bring the pointer to start. Change the value of Z from to minus 250 to plus 250. Verify the same value, 250 is there throughout the timeline. Save all. Now select the sequence lobby screen and under details section, select autoplay to true and loop indefinitely. Save all. Go to shooter maps content. Items, Background, Open Shooter Game Lobby BG, Choose this Jungle Map Background, Now go back to the Front End Level, Run the Level to see our Jungle Level in the Background. In the upcoming lectures, we can see how we can customize this menu screen and add our own colors and content and so on. Thank you for watching this lecture. See you in the next one.